basically it's a roll racing event where you cruise around the track, uh, no performance driving, but yeah, we'll probably snap fourth gear anyway. <laughs> but we have plenty of cars out there for us to race today and uh, it's just a bit of fun, really. It's pretty cheap. It's about $60 plus a clubman license, uh, but you can use that for any event for the year. I'm taking the GT out there today. I have turned the RPM down just slightly in trying to keep this thing alive. I don't know how long these stock rods and pistons you know, they keep handling um, 7,500 plus RPMs. I'm going to try and short shift it today at about 7,000. Uh, 7,000 RPMs is enough to get me into the 11s, so it should still be enough to have some good fun. Hopefully the rain stays away. Do have a mate of mine, Conrad, coming out. Potentially the infamous Roland and his new Dodge Viper. Uh, but it'd be pretty cool to see that thing and actually meet the guy. I'm sure a lot of you remember him from, from the early forum days. So as you guys probably saw, last time I went racing at Brecky Laps, uh, I did have some sort of vibration issue with the rear end. Uh, I did forget to update you guys on that. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I thought it was the diff at the time. Uh, thankfully, it wasn't the diff. The diff is fine. It was just the rear tail shaft CV. For some reason, it decided to go. Uh, the cage broke uh, just on the roll. It wasn't completely destroyed, and I was able to drive home. It just had a bit of vibration, you know. I just didn't want to risk it. Uh, I'm glad I didn't risk it, because I probably would have lost the other end of my tail shaft. Oh, yeah, Conrad's turned up at exactly the same time as me. Let's get some fuel. So we have Conrod's EB Fairmont. As you'll notice, he has slightly larger meats on the back than you would usually see on a so the fact. Finest, the finest SUV tires. The finest SUV tires around. Uh, it's a little bit of a sleeper, this thing. We're going to pop the bonnet. You guessed it. It's a barra. <laughs> It's a factory one of one pre-production. One of one pre-production, <laughs> EB, Fairmont Turbo. And you've done a pretty nice job here of this engine bay, I will say. That's probably the cleanest engine bay I've seen. <laughs> Many hours of hell. Look at this. Beautifully clean. Anyway, how much boost are you pushing, Conrad? 20 pounds. 20 pounds through a... It's only on 98, it... GDX Gen 2. Gen... Wuhan, Wuhan. Oh yeah? Pulsar. Okay. It'll... Gen 2 Pulsar. Was that like 66 mils? Yeah, 66 right? mils. Yeah. Ah, cool. Alright. And BTR Auto? Yeah, it'll be the uh, Yep. 3, and 3,500 still. Probably weighs about 200. 15, I'd say 15, 50 kilos. Yeah, it's so about 250 kilos less than my car. <laughs> so we can expect <laughs> to get in. gapped. You put me in and it evens it out. Yeah, yeah. Relax muzzle. <laughs> Alright, so we're bringing the GT out here today, guys. Uh, oh, oh. It's comfortable. Though. Energy drink. Will get me through the morning because I didn't get much sleep last night because I was either worrying that I was going to break it or I was very excited, one of the two. I've got the Passport 4s on the back today, uh, no drag radials, uh, pretty much standard 5.4 Boss 290 with cams and some diff gears, my 420 horsepower, and hopefully we have a good morning. Should be pretty fun. Well, it's close to us. <laughs> Oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> I was going to wear a, uh, like an old man's costume to over an old person's car and look like I'm lost. Feel free to correct me. Uh, 450 horsepower, but I do believe they're 
on the short side of 1500 kilos so um, yeah it should be a pretty good run with the GT if you've ever wondered how big a Viper is that's the height difference between my GT and the Viper I don't know if you can tell in the video but that is quite significant
You feel so sketchy. Oh Why? My God. Why am I sketchy? It's legit. It's oh. around here. How was that? Tell the camera how, how your first experience at Recce Labs was. Was it good? Were you worried? <laughs> Still trying scared? to breathe. It's got some nerves? Oh, too much? I thought I could handle it, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so intense. Uh, honest, to be honest, I'm, uh, it's pretty intense for me too because I'm uh, scared of breaking my car. I've had a few bad experiences out here, but today it's working alright. So. I turned the tune down a little bit, a little bit less timing, a lot, a lot less RPM, uh, and uh, seems to be working. So maybe not quite as quick as usual, but still having fun. Don't need to win any races. I've set the time slips. Yeah, it was. We know how fast it goes. Yeah, it was still fun. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's have a break. So we're just having a little bit of a breather now, guys. Just letting the car cool down. Uh, in the past, I, I would have stayed out for the whole 90 minutes. You probably can't hear me at the moment, but. Yeah, today I'm going to let it cool down. A little bit of a uh, preventative uh, strategy, I'd say. So, anyway, she's doing all right. Uh, the streets are still closed. Uh, I have been beaten a couple of times there. <laughs>
look on his face. He's like, yeah, I got it, and I know I got it.
that, but I may have done a mischief to my clutch. Um, hopefully it's not leaking too much oil, so I'm just gonna limp it home right now and check it out when I get back. Chops is doing a little check on it now, but yeah, it was weird that it's vibrating when I try to change, like change, put it in the gear. Alright, so I'm currently driving home, and there's some weird sounds coming from my. Maybe the bell housing. I assume it has something to do with the clutch. It was when I tried to click fourth gear. Uh, yeah, it wasn't having it. The gearbox kind of feels a bit sloppy. Uh, maybe it's the mount, I don't know, but something is flicking around underneath the car and hitting the exhaust. Uh, it's not leaking any fluid, which is good. Uh, but I'm just limping at home. It's going quite slow. And yeah, we'll uh, check it out later. But I appreciate you guys watching this one and uh, really hope you enjoyed the races, especially with the Viper. That, that was really cool. Definitely a major highlight for me of my uh, endeavors with racing in this car. Uh, really, really keen. Let me know what you think. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, I'm sure there'll be more of this in the future. Cheers, guys. Thanks.